Hi everyone, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming. Just looking at the l next one of the PlayStation hits. This is Shadow of Mordor. Don't mistake it for Shadow of War, which is the latest version. Um, this one is the original and has just been released for $14.99 along with all of the other PlayStation hits. So I thought I would do a quick mini review, as I've done with uh, the other PlayStation hits to date. I will be finishing off soon, so uh, um, I do actually need to go out and buy some more of them. But uh, let's get into this one. So the premise, um, I'm not going to go too much into the story, but uh, suffice us to say the idea is to take out a series of bosses, in effect. Um, I suppose you could say it's a very traditional game and as far as bosses denote your progression through the the story uh, that's all I'm going to touch on as far as the story is concerned because I don't want to ruin it that's why I've skipped the entire intro section for the game because it's very very story driven to find out why he is who he is and why he's doing what he's doing so we will focus on the three main aspects as I have done in the previous videos. They are the graphical content, the sound content and the gameplay itself. Now graphically it's a, a very competent game. It's quite old obviously. Um, I think if I remember rightly it was published in around 2014 something like that so it's a very early game on in the the life cycle of the PlayStation 4 um, so four years old and graphically it's still very very good uh, I think it hasn't had a, an update or anything like that it's quite simply this is what it was like when it first released now you are going to get obviously all of the patches etc with the uh, the PlayStation hit version um, and any additional I don't know whether they give you additional content with the uh, the new PlayStation hits one uh, I haven't equipped any of them I did get some with my version but I haven't actually put any on on this playthrough as normal I have started a new game for this because I don't want to show you any of the the later on stuff I think it might spoil it too much but as I say graphically competent, more than competent in effect. There are some games these days even being released now that don't quite meet this particular game for graphical prowess. You can see by the pictures in the background to be perfectly honest. Um, so moving on, the, the sound quality. Uh, it's very difficult because The Lord of the Rings as an actual genre and uh, an actual world is obviously very noisy. It's full of battle, it's full of screaming, death, horror, you name it. And to put that into a game and not make it sound too over the top is, is quite difficult. Now, I haven't played this game for quite a while, to be fair, so I can't remember um, whether there are any... I think there are battle horns and things like that. Now, the battle horns obviously <laughs> add a lot to the fights in uh, in Lord of the Rings, especially when you're dealing with the Uruk or the Orcs. So they do add a lot. The conversations, I suppose, so all of the, the spoken lines of all of the bosses, which is one of the people I'm actually fighting in the background in the, uh, the video behind. Um, the, the reason he's actually got a skull above his head is because I've come across a very, very hard boss uh, and I was very surprised because I actually beat him now the thing with these bosses is they are randomly wandering the world so you can come across them at any stage and you can come across two or three at a time which can be quite overwhelming at times gameplay wise I think that's a very big one for this so as you saw from the combat there it's quite Arkham-esque where you press triangle to parry and square to attack and if you time that correctly you can get very good combos and pretty much stay almost immune to any damage which is obviously where you want to be at you don't want to be hit by these great big orcs uh, you've got traversal so you can climb the side of cliffs um, you can sneak as I'm doing in the video in the background um, there are very many things you can actually do in this particular particular game so gameplay is also extremely good would I recommend this I would say this version yes now I haven't got Shadows of War the new version 
mainly because of the microtransactions. But Shadow of Mordor for £15. Very, very good and very long game. I would recommend. So, please like and subscribe. Um, make sure you click the bell notification so you're updated when I upload next. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.